For today's video, we will answer this viral geometry challenge. And here's the question. Given this rectangle and semicircle, and this segment measures 6 units, then our goal is to find the area of this rectangle. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Now before I present the solution, just comment your answer in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget to like, share, and say something on the comment section. Alright, now to answer this viral geometry challenge, we will use three different methods. The first one is similar triangles. So if we use the similar triangles, and we will use the similar triangles in the next solutions, so I suppose that you already master the similar triangle method. Alright, and now the second is we will use the Pythagorean theorem. The third one is we will use the area of this triangle. Now, we have a rectangle, but we will use the area of a triangle because if we cut this rectangle into two, we found a triangle. So the area of the rectangle is just two times the area of this triangle. All right, so now let's have the first solution using similar triangles. So to start with, let's have the center of the semicircle like this. And then we will use this theorem. So if the diameter of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the diameter bisects the chord and its arc. We don't care the arc, but we care to the chord. So the diameter bisects the chord. So let's have a piece of this diameter like this that is perpendicular to this chord. It follows that it bisects this segment 6. So we have here 3 and 3. Now, we know also that this is a right triangle. And another is if we call this alpha. And since it is a right triangle, we call this angle be equal to beta. And in the big right triangle, if this is alpha, and the other angle must be also equal to beta because alpha and beta adds up to 90 degrees. So technically speaking, we have two similar triangles in this figure. All right. Now, let's have x be the height of this rectangle. And of course, the base be equal to y. Why not? You can use m and n, s and t, but in this case, I would use x and y. Now, the area of this rectangle is simply equal to the base times height or simply equal to x times y. So the goal is to find the value of x times y. And to find the value of this x, y, of course, we will use similar triangles. So now, let's begin. First, this length, this length over here measures x or the height of this rectangle is also the radius of this semicircle because if we draw the height right over here, this is just the radius of this semicircle. So this is also the radius of this semicircle. Therefore, this segment must be also equal to just x. Now, we can now use the concept of similar triangles because the first method is using similar triangles. So we will get the ratio of the hypotenuse to its longer leg. And we know since they are similar, they, the ratio of the hypotenuse to the longer leg must be the same thing. So x over 3 hypotenuse over longer leg equals 6 the hypotenuse of the big right triangle over the longer leg y. Now, if we cross multiply this, we get xy equals 3 times 6. This xy is the area of this rectangle, and 3 times 6 is just 18. Therefore, we can say that the area of this rectangle must be equal to 18 square units. And that's the area. And also, this is our method number 1. Now, how about using the Pythagorean theorem? So now, what we're going to do from this point to the tip of the diameter, let's connect to this point like this. And we know since the third side is a diameter of this semicircle, this is a 90 degrees or a right triangle. Now, from here, let's call this segment be equal to A and B. So the diameter is just A plus B. Next, using similar triangles, we have 
two similar triangles right over here. Suppose you are master of similar triangles, you cannot find the measure of this segment. And if you do similar triangles, you get the measure of this segment be equal to square root of a over b. All right. Now, what we're going to do is to find out the area of this rectangle. That's our goal. And to find the area of this rectangle, we need the height of this rectangle. And also we know that the height of this rectangle is just the radius of this semicircle. And how do we find the radius? This is just the sum of the segments A and B because it adds up to the diameter of this semicircle. So the radius is just A plus B divided by 2. And the area of this rectangle is just the base times height or B multiplied by A plus B all over 2. Now, using Pythagorean theorem, our goal is to find the value of this. B multiplied by A plus B over 2. So using the Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle, we have square root of AB raised to the power of 2 plus B squared equals 6 squared. All right, now square root of AB raised to the power of 2, this is just AB. Now the right-hand side is 6 squared or simply equal to 6 times 6 or 36. Now notice we have a common factor of B, so why not factor out B? And we want AB over 2, so let's divide both sides by 2. Now, 36 divided by 2, we have 18. And we can rewrite the left-hand side as follows. We have B multiplied by AB over 2, which is exactly this expression or simply the area of the rectangle. And using our second method, we get that the area of this rectangle is just 18 square units. The value that we get a while ago. So using second method, we get also the same thing. The area of this rectangle is just 18 square units. Now, how about the third solution using area of triangle? Now first, let's draw a segment like this. We know this is a right angle. Now at this point, let's call the height of this rectangle be equal to r because this is the radius of the semicircle and the diameter be equal to 2r. Next, from the tip of this rectangle, let's draw a perpendicular segment like this. And if this angle, we call this as alpha, and this angle be equal to beta, alpha plus beta adds up to 90 degrees, we have here a right triangle. So if this is beta, this angle must be equal to alpha. And the second right triangle, this big right triangle, if this is alpha, this angle must be equal to beta because alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. Now, using your mastery in similar triangles, you can now find the measure of this yellow segment must be equal to 3 units using similar triangles because these two right triangles are similar. And here's the triangle that we need. This is the right triangle. And how do we find the area of this triangle? The base of this triangle must be equal to R. And the height of this triangle be equal to the length of this rectangle. So the area of this triangle is technically the area of this rectangle. So how do we find the area of the triangle? Now another way is if we let this 6 be equal to the base and this 3 be equal to the height. So the area now of this triangle, we can also find this using 1 half times base times height. Base is 6, height is 3. And 6 times 3 is 18. And 1 half of 18 be equal to 9. So the area of this triangle be, is equal to 9 square units. And since the area of the rectangle is twice the area of the triangle, so the area of the rectangle is just 2 times 9. And 2 times 9 is just 18 square units. Therefore, using three different methods, we can finally say that the area of this rectangle must be equal to 18 square units. And this is our answer to this viral geometry challenge. And of course, I will show you the shortcut 
to find the area of this rectangle. The area simply equal to 6 squared divided by 2 because 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 is 18. In short, the area of this rectangle is the measure of this segment squared divided by 2. So here's my challenge to you. So can you prove that if the length of this segment is equal to x, then the area of this rectangle is x squared over 2? And I will wait your comment in the comment section down below. And as always, we are done.